the commonest erroneous conclusions drawn by mankind are these. A thing exists, therefore it has a right to. Here, the conclusion is drawn from the capacity to live to the fitness to live, from the fitness to live to the right to live. Then, an opinion makes happy, therefore it is a true opinion. Its effect is good, therefore it itself is good and true. Here, the effect is accorded the predicate beneficent, good, in the sense of useful. Then the cause is furnished with the same predicate good, but here in the sense of the logically valid. The reverse of these propositions is, a thing cannot prevail, preserve itself, therefore it is wrong. An opinion causes pain and agitation, therefore it is false. The free spirit, who is all too often acquainted with the erroneousness of this kind of reasoning and has to suffer from its consequences, often succumbs to the temptation to draw the opposite conclusions, which are of course in general equally erroneous. A thing cannot prevail, therefore it is good. An opinion causes pain and distress, therefore it is true.